So uh, before we head off and I talk, I do the closing, we have a little segment that we're doing. We've done it the last two people, I think, Tim, and so we've had a good, uh, a good uh, feedback on this. Even Gina Perry was one of the ones that recommended we keep doing this. <laughs> and that is, what is in your bag? Okay. So a camera bag. So photographers love to see what's in other photographers' camera bag. <laughs> so if you, if you don't mind sharing your bag, right. I'm going to see if I can get you, let's, let's get you, just you. Where's that Ooh. shot? I'm sorry, people. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. So this is my workhorse. Nikon. I have a Nikon D4. Um, my 24 to 70 is... I'm, I'm a zoom shooter. I'm not a prime shooter. Um, my camera. Which one, one do you use? Um, it's like a CSLR. It's okay. not anything super fancy. Um, I got it on Amazon. It's like 20 or 30 bucks, but it's got this little gap. It's so comfortable. I'm a crossbody shooter. Okay. Um, I, I was in a car accident when I was a kid and my neck, my head went through a windshield. So my neck's not the strongest. So I don't like putting things, heavy things around my neck. So that's my, um, my workhorse. Uh, where did I, oh, there it is. Um, I do have my, I have two, I'm not only showing one, I have two of my backup back cameras with me at all time, which is my D700. Um, this year I'm probably going to be upgrading. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the D5 or if I'm going to go to the D750. I'm not sure if that's the new one that came out. 750. Yeah. yeah 750. Yeah. The, so I saw something on the D5 where they were shooting at a thousand, a hundred and two thousand ISO and it's still, it's noisy. But it still the looks. Yeah, well, I saw like one that, where it went yeah. to three million, but at, yeah. at the and that was really uh, almost a, that was really unusable. Yeah. But one hundred and two thousand, yeah. while it was noisy, and maybe it wouldn't be for a wedding photo, but it it still was usable. Well, it would be usable though if you're for like end of the night, um, you know, reception shots that you're like, well, the light's really crappy, the DJ's turned everything black, but you can still yeah. at least get something. So, but yeah, they're pretty, it's pretty amazing. I'm not quite sure which way I'm going to go yet, but my D700s are awesome. I love them. And that's what I shoot with a D700. They're, yeah, like I'm not, it's not like I need to upgrade, but it's, you know, shutter life and all that fun stuff. But I have two of those in my bag at all time. And then everything's kind of around me because I just got back from a destination wedding. So I haven't really shot since then. Um, my, I have two um, 70 to 200s in my bag. Um, I don't have two of my 24 to 70s just because I have somewhere. I don't know if I have it actually. I have the, I have the 50 and I have the 24 prime and I have, I think a 35 prime. So can you show me that lens? Did you not have a lens cap on it? No. Oh my gosh. It was just, it was in my bag. <laughs> I know. Uh, in the bag. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I guess that's, but that's the difference between somebody, uh, a working person who's, who, you know, is, Hey, I'm getting the job done versus, yeah. Me, who's not doing it for a living, who's, yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand. Well, and it's in my shoot sack, which is yeah. my, what I carry with me during the day of. So it's not like it's in like a normal bag. It's in the shoot sack, which is like all neoprene and, and okay. fun stuff. So I have that. Let's see if what other lenses I've got in my little bag. Yeah, my, my little, <laughs> my 50 without a lens cap. <laughs> or the rear cap, actually. Oh, wow. So I take oh, all the rear caps God. off when I'm shooting. I know, but they're not dusty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's my 50. Um, I don't use it a lot. Like I said, I'm not a prime shooter, but I do like it for getting ready. Is, that, is that a 50? That's a 518? 1.4. 1.4. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. I actually have the older version of this and I hated it with passion. <laughs> like one of my, my second shooter really liked it. And one day I was like, Hey, can you, do you want that lens instead of payment? She's like, yay. And I'm like, good. Cause I hated it. But this one I actually like, I like the new one. Vic out in chat says Len, ca lens caps are for wimps. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> yeah. See, I have cats. I just don't use them all and the just time. Just not on the lens. <laughs> yeah, not on the lens. So um, I also have the Sigma 50, which I completely freaking hate. Uh -huh. um, but it's a backup. It is what it is. I hear the art is really nice. Um, it just was really slow. I never was a fan of it, but I kept it because, again, I like to have backups of backups of backups. So mm -hmm. it's in my bag because. And I have a teleconverter. Um very, very rarely we'll use this at a wedding. Again, no cap. But I have one. <laughs> <laughs> now that um, looks, uh, I know I have the teleconverter 1.4. That looks like the bigger one though, the 2X. The 20E, 2X, yes. Yeah. Um, I mostly use it when I, in my downtime, I like to go to Maine and shoot uh, lighthouses. That's when I've used this mostly. Okay. 
Um, but I have used it a, a couple of times at churches that where you're stuck at the very back of the aisle and you're not allowed to move or the balcony and to get a little bit of extra grab in those churches. There's one in Cleveland that is very, very long aisle and you can't move and blah, blah, blah. So it comes in handy. Um, I also have, I don't have everything over here with me, but I have about four of the SB 900s for flash. I just use the regular flash modifier. I don't have any of the crazy fong things. Yeah. Um, it's just how I prefer to light. Everybody has their own method of madness. But I have about four of these because I tend to drop them. Um, <laughs> I do have one of the new nine tens, but I actually it was I didn't realize it when I bought it on eBay. Apparently it's gray market. Oh boy. So, yeah, you get it and you're like, oh, okay, but whatever. It is what it is. It's an extra flash. Um, but they get the job done. And I use the little, what is this, the SD9. I have a little SD9 battery pack, and that's what I keep on me um, for most of the reception to get a little bit more life out of the battery of the flashes. I love them. Everybody, I know there's other methods of the Qualcomms and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but I like this sucker. It's I have something like that as well for my external flash, and I love it. It's yeah. so it's so it's so light. It's so easy. I don't have to recharge it. It's AA batteries. I love it. Right. Does that um, help with the recycle time too? Oh God! Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. Can flash, flash, flash. Especially with family portraits, I'm very, very fast. I try not to make that the most painful part of the day because it is for most people. Um, so I try to run through that really quickly, and that helps because it's I can take three pictures at once. Bam, 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 done, and it's nice. No blinking. No angry child. No grandma grinning and grin, cranky and all that fun stuff. Um, this is my other little fun thing I have. It's what is that? I don't know what it's called. It's a little video light, and I won't. Oh, LED it. lights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little LED. It has a little, like, diffuser. Um, has little different color panels. It's, like, $30 on Amazon. Um, while I will use it sometimes, like, for night portraits and such, what I mostly use this for is for detail shots with rings. And I don't know where it is. It's probably in another bag. I have a travel destination bag that I didn't grab. Um, but I, I use the 105, the Nikon, and then I'll use this to give a little extra light to the diamonds and kind of help them pop. Oh, sorry. That's right. I'm talking, so it came out of my ear. But um, so, yeah, so this thing is super awesome. I've never had a change of the batteries. I've had it for about three years, but it can get really, really bright or dim. I've, you know, it helps if, too if you need like a little focus pop before. You, you say it can get bright or dim, so you can dim it? Yeah, there's a little wheel on the side okay. here and it, it, it dims. That's awesome. Right? It gets pretty bright. Um, yeah. I've used it a couple times just to even add like a little like hair light behind a couple when I'm doing some outdoor lighting at night. So this is probably one of my favorite things and it's super cheap. So um, that's, I think it as far as gear goes, I have some, I have a million batteries because I'm always worried that the batteries are going to die and a million flash, you know, camera. I have the CF cards and I also have these dang QXD cards because I have the D4 and you have to have a million of these and they're stupid expensive and I lose them because they're tiny. <laughs> um, but as far as other little fun things, I always have the um, hand sanitizer yeah. because you can't wash your hands during the wedding day. You can't go to the bathroom. So you much less and hand lotion because again, my hand, yeah. I don't know why my hands get really dry when I'm shooting. Uh, but I think it's also this, as we get older. This is the tip, and this is probably going to be a little awkward because I'm talking to two guys, but this is the tip even for men. Okay. Have a tampon or two with you, gentlemen. What in the world am I going to do with yeah, that? Yeah, now I have to no. hear this tip. <laughs> yes. Because do you know how many bridesmaids I have made best friends for life by having one of these with me? Oh, that, you don't think they would think it's sense. creepy if I just pulled one out and said, yeah, oh, I have an guy. extra? You have, you're a photographer. You should be prepared. And it had and the camera on you so nobody saw my graphic there. I, I told guys and a few of my guy friend photographers have started doing it. And they said, oh, my God. Like, it, it, it's one of those things where if you – I like to be prepared. I usually do have an emergency kit with me the day of the wedding as far as, like, little things with, like, a you know, sewing kit or whatever. But that by far has been mothers, bridesmaids – random people in the restroom. I have got clients from giving somebody a tampon in the bathroom. Yeah. I, I, so, right. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. Absolutely. Because um, you're a normal event. That's the last thing you want to screw up your day. Right. Right. I, yeah, I think most of us guys would never even think about that. Um, but you if you would, huh? What's that? If you have sisters though, that's always what I or tell a, guys. Or a wife or something like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, my wife always has me carry them. I don't know. Yeah. So that's a good point. Yeah. 
So, and, uh, you know, I also have like crazy tripods and all that fun stuff, but, but yeah, I would say the tampon is one of the, my most used items in my bags by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, Laura, Laura says, who doesn't have a tampon in their bag? Well, I don't. Yeah, right no, now, I like the disposable baby diapers are great <laughs> maybe, for mopping up sweat. <laughs> hey, that, that's a good one. Too. I will have to explain to my wife why I want them if I say, "Hey, can you get me yes. some tampons so I can put them in my bag?" <laughs> really? Excuse me? Yeah, I, I can see you saying but that. But then she would too. probably be like, "Oh, that's really." Yeah, if you explain it, yeah, she'd be like, yeah. "Oh, that makes perfect sense." Makes sense. She, yeah, yeah. I mean, because I have so much room in my bag, and you know, throw a couple in and. Make everybody's day. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, and Kimba says they also help with bloody noses. Um, yeah. Yes. I have not had to do that, but, you know, I, there are groomsmen that get pretty out. There's- I, I will share a, a story in the post show about <laughs> something uh, related to what Kimba just said. 